Recently, we reviewed a new brand on the channel from China called Kalas, and we took a look at one of their sort of flagship mountain trail running shoes, the Fuga Pro 4. I was really impressed with the performance and a lot of the tech that had been used when it came to the construction. So we are back today with the Kalas brand, but this time round, we are taking a look at one of their lightweight hydration vests, the Fuga Air 2.0. Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and you are watching Run For Adventure. We are very excited at the channel because we're gonna be heading out to the beautiful mountains of Chamonix very, very soon. Uh, we've got a few last minute things to prepare and then we're gonna be loading up the adventure bus and heading out on an epic road trip. We've just invested a lot of money into a nice, shiny new, all singing, all dancing laptop so that we can film, edit and upload along the way so we can keep our one Wonderful viewers up to date with all the adventures we're having. Now over the years I've run with lots of different hydration vests and running packs from lots of different brands. Uh, Salomon, Ulma Direction, Montaigne, Harrier Trail, Innovate, Say Sky and lots more. But this is my first experience of a Kalas hydration vest. Um, I'd have to say if I had to pick one out of all the brands that I've used, it'd probably be Salomon's Advanced Skin 12 set, just because it fits me so well, super comfortable, really well constructed, but you've also got lots of options when it comes to accessible storage, and you know that's really important to me. Just before we dive into the review, if you are new to the whole world of running packs or hydration vests, we actually produced a buying guide on the channel not so long ago. Uh, we give out lots of really handy tips, we also talk about the difference between a hydration vest and a running pack, and we go into a bit of detail about what to look out for when you're making that all important purchase. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below in case you wanna check it out. Right, so back to today's video and the Fuga Air 2.0 8 litre hydration vest. Uh, I've been testing it over the last couple of weeks and I've done several sort of shorter efforts wearing it between seven and eight miles, but I've also done two longer runs between three and four hours. So. Uh, um, we've given it a pretty thorough testing and what we'll do first is we'll give you a few specs of the vest then we're going to break down the construction in a bit more detail we're also going to highlight some of the great innovations and great features that Kalas have used and then we're going to wrap everything up with a quick conclusion on how it's performed firstly like i just mentioned it is an eight liter vest so that basically gives you eight liters of storage volume so you can stow away those sort of training essentials or mandatory race kit and that volume of space is made up from several different pockets on the front and the back uh, definitely stay tuned tune till the end because I'm going to demonstrate how much kit you can actually fit in this vest even though they advertise it as only eight litres. It, it really is like a TARDIS. Um, sorry for using sort of random Doctor Who references. Uh, if you don't know what a TARDIS is, uh, the Doctor used to sort of time travel in a police telephone box and from the outside it just looked like your normal ordinary um, police telephone box. When he stepped inside it was massive so hence the TARDIS reference. Um, I can't quite believe I'm talking about Doctor Who while we're doing a running pack review and I sound like a bit of a nerd if I'm honest, but let's just get on with the video. The Fuga Air 2.0 retails uh, for $159. So that's around about 130 British pounds. A very similar price point when you compare it to my sort of running vest of choice, the Salomon Advanced Skin 12 set. Uh, it weighs in at a pretty light 210 grams in a medium. Speaking of medium, available in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. And you've got lots of color options to choose from. I think there's about 10 different colorways for this vest, so pretty much something for everyone. You've got two options when it comes to carrying your fluid. So the Air 2.0 comes with two 500 mil soft flasks, which are stored up front in two chest pockets, one either side. Or you could use the more sort of old school way of carrying a bladder. So on the back of the vest, you've got a little bladder compartment. Just slide your bladder down into there. Obviously clip it into that top clip to stop it sort of moving around or sliding around while you're running. Uh, I would personally always go for that upfront bottle system. I think it's a lot easier to sort of monitor your hydration because it's under your eyes and not in the back of the vest. What you tend to find is you under drink or over drink if you're using a bladder. Obviously having two bottles, you can have water in one, electrolyte or energy drink in the other. 
I think it really helps when it comes to balancing the pack. You know, a litre of water is one kilo in weight. So if you've got that in front and then all your mandatory kit in the back, it just works a bit better and runs a bit better. Plus a lot easier to fill up when you're racing at checkpoints. So you can take your bottles out, hand them over to a marshal, they'll top them up, stuff them back in and off you go. But you know, obviously everything running is super personal. So if you do prefer that sort of more old fashioned bladder system, don't worry, the vest will carry that, but just so you know, it doesn't come with the bladder, you'd have to buy that separately. When it comes down to the construction, Kalas have used 3D cutting to give it that nice precise fit and even weight distribution to sort of optimize comfort and mobility. We've got this highly breathable honeycomb fabric used in the majority of the construction. That's there to help with sort of airflow and breathability, especially when running in hot conditions. Now, when it comes to features, they are crammed into this lightweight running vest. So I think we should start with storage and we're gonna look at the front of the vest first. Obviously, you get your two big pockets to stow away your 500ml soft flask. So literally slide them down inside. You've got a bungee at the top that you just cinch down over the top of the bottle to stop it sliding down as you drink your water. But you've also got a secondary bungee halfway down that pocket. So again, as that volume compresses in your bottle, you can just slide that a bit tighter. Again, it compresses that pocket, holds your water really securely. Something I've never seen on a running vest before, but it worked really well. On top of that right-hand side bottle pocket, you also get a really good size stuff pocket. Perfect for sort of your nutritional needs, gels, bars, really easy to access while you're on the move. Under there, we've got a slightly smaller stuff pocket and it's got a little internal pocket in there as well and a really handy key loop. So you can clip your keys in there, it's gonna keep them nice and secure and you're not gonna lose them while you're running out on the trails. Nice touch that. And then moving over to the other side, unfortunately, you don't get that stuff pocket on top of the bottle pocket, but you have got a bigger stuff pocket lower down. And again, that's a double pocket. Also comes with a really good feature. So uh, I don't know whether you can see that picture on the pack, a little sort of mobile phone there, kind of giving the game away. So you unzip the zip, grab yourself a good size mobile phone. That will slide underneath and then down into the pocket. We zip it up. And again, really good storage space for a good mobile phone. So unzip that. That's not actually a real phone. It's a dummy phone that came with, well, I think it's a dummy phone. Let's give it a try. You never know, you might get a free mobile with the pack. That'd be a bug. Oh, it's ringing, it's ringing. Oh yeah, hi, yeah, it's Lloyd from Run For Adventure. Yeah, we're just reviewing your um, Fuga Air. Uh, it doesn't work really. It's just a piece of plastic, but yeah. So a good size mobile phone pocket on the front as well. Moving up to the top of the vest and we've got the smallest running vest pocket in the world. I'm, uh, I'm not sure what you're gonna put in that pocket, but it definitely needs to be small. On both sides, you've got another storage option. So we've got a little side stuff pocket. Uh, good size, not massive, but a good size. Perfect for me when I'm out filming. I've been putting my spare GoPro and batteries in there, but it also double up as a really good sort of head torch and batteries pocket. There is another little bungee in there if you want to attach something to it just for a bit of added security. And I think that is pretty much all the front storage. I don't think I've forgotten anything. Uh, it was funny, the first week I ran with the vest, every time I ran with it, I discovered a new pocket. So there really is a lot of storage potential on the front. Right, onto the back, and you've guessed it, we have a lot of pockets here as well. So let's start off with what I'd call the main compartment of the vest. So sitting quite high up the back, We've got this uh, folder material and we've got a big size stretchy stuff pocket. So no zips, no Velcro, anything like that, but very secure. And I think you'd be surprised how much kit you can actually fit in here. So this is where I'd put my uh, the majority of my mandatory kit. So, you know, uh, first aid kit, survival bag, waterproof trousers, warm hat, gloves, stuff like that in a dry bag, cinch it down and then stuff it into that compartment. Uh, keeping it nice and safe, but also high up the back. So again, it's not gonna bounce around. And then on top of that, you've got another pocket that sits in that folder material, and that is for your waterproof jacket. So good size again, put that jacket in the pocket, really easy to grab out and access when needed if the weather changes. So another really well thought through feature. Moving down to the lower back of the vest, and yet we've got another good size sort of stretchy stuff pocket there. So 
Again, if you're doing a winter race or a big mountain race where you've got to carry lots of mandatory kit, you know, warm leggings, warm base layer, waterproof gloves, things like that, that's all gonna fit in there with ease. But carrying over that sort of double pocket theme of the review, underneath there, we've got a zip pocket and that is pretty much the same size as the front pocket. So doubling up the volume on the lower back. Anything you wanna keep really safe and value, put it in the pocket, zip it up nice and secure. So you can see what I mean by lots of storage options, especially when you think it is advertised as only an eight litre running vest. And I like the way that Kalas have sort of segregated it all. So you'll know exactly where your kit is in each pocket rather than sort of rummaging around a big pocket full of stuff. Back round to the front of the pack and we need to talk about the unique closure system on the Air 2.0 or as Callus like to call it, the ADF. So that is the all round dialed fit. So on the left here, we got three points of connection. You've got three little plastic clips, clip them into place. And then all you have to do is a quick adjustment on the mechanism there by turning it. Uh, very similar to a BOA system if you've come across them before. So yeah, just cinch that down, set it up for your body shape and you are ready to run. The lace system uses high strength, low resistant yarns, so just to help with uh, durability, but also to cut back on any uh, damage the laces could cause. We've got some little slide beads placed on there to stop those laces getting tangled up, so it makes it nice and easy to clip in. Uh, if you want to release the system, super simple, just pull up on the mechanism, that'll take the tension off of the lace. Uh, with uh, poles becoming more and more popular these days, Kalos have been really clever and they've worked in lots of pole carrying options. So starting on the back first, uh, you can clip into the top bungee, slide your poles down into that lower back pocket. You can also stow them away horizontally across that lower back using bungees again. Or if like me, you like to have your poles on the front of your vest so they're nice and easy to access, you've got that option as well. So again, two more bungees to do that. Uh, a feature I really like, great attention to detail and I haven't seen this on any other running pack before. If you've picked your desired place to stow your poles, you can then get rid of the other bungees by pushing them into these little openings on the vest. So it gets them out of the way, so when you're running, they're not gonna sort of bounce around and drive you crazy. Finishing up with some nice high-vis detailing on the front and on the back of the vest just for safer nighttime running. So there you have it, the Fuga Air 2.0 from Kalas. Uh, it really is packed full of great features, especially for such a lightweight running vest. So uh, let's get stuck into how it's performed over the last few weeks. We'll go through all the good stuff first, of which there's plenty, and we'll also see if there's anything we feel that could be improved. Firstly, let's talk about bottles, and I'm a big fan of the soft flask that the vest comes with. Uh, I really like the size and the shape. They fit really well in the pockets. We've got a nice wide opening to them bottles. Maybe not quite as wide as the Salomon bottles, but still a really good size. So easy to get those high five tabs in or to tip in a packet of Morton drink mix. No issues there. We've got a slightly angled nozzle, which is a really good touch. You know, they sit quite high up the vest of the bottle, so really easy to get to that nozzle because it's angled. Um, you don't have to take your eyes off of the trail, which can always be a bit sketchy. But I also really like, and again, this is a feature that you don't see on a lot of soft flasks with vests, is if you push it down, you're locking that bottle off. So great if you're traveling to the start of a race with your bottles full, or if you're carrying spare hydration in the back of your vest. So again, a soft flask full of water, push that down, it just avoids any leakage. So again, a really well thought through soft flask system. Speaking of the bottle system and then bungees on the pockets have worked really well. So you've got that top bungee to secure the top of the bottle, but um, then having that secondary bungee halfway down, I've had no movement, no slippage of the bottles as I'm drinking my fluid, which can be super annoying at times. So yeah, that bungee system has really helped when it comes to any movement on the soft flasks. So many storage options and that's something I always look for when it comes to my hydration vest. Uh, lots of accessible options on the front but I also love how they've arranged the pockets on the back uh, especially when you think of how lightweight this unit is. Uh, just to demonstrate this uh, I've got together a pretty extensive 100 mile mandatory kit list and we're going to show you how easy it is to fit it in the Air 2.0. So we've got waterproof trousers, 
waterproof coat, we've got survival bag, first aid kit, warm base layer, warm gloves, warm hat, we've got whistle, we've got gels, bars, lots of hydration, uh, and lots of other bits and pieces. And because it's my mandatory kit list, I've also thrown in a GoPro as well. So let's see how we get on. There you go, we fitted all that kit into the Air 2.0, to be honest, with some room to spare. So you can see a very versatile carrying system, whether you're running a trail marathon or a 100 miler, no matter how big the mandatory kit list is. It's been very comfortable to run in, and in fact, my first run in the vest, uh, I took it straight out of the bag and went out and did three and a half hours. I had no irritation, no chafing or anything like that. Uh, it's been very, very breathable because of this honeycomb fabric and the whole construction is very, very soft. So there's not really anything that could cause you any irritation. It does remind me of some of my sort of early lightweight S-Lab uh, running vests that I had. That unique ADF closure system. Again, if you think about your pack when it's full up with kit and you've got full bottles on the front, as you start drinking that fluid, the volume goes down in the, in the bottles and it can affect the fit. It can start to feel a bit loose. No problem with this system, just a couple of quick turns on that wheel and it's locked in, dialed into your body shape again to control any movement. So I really did think that this ADF system was a bit of a gimmick, but it's actually worked really well. So I've been really impressed with the performance and some of those innovations I haven't seen on a running vest before have been great. You can really see that Callus have put a lot of time, a lot of testing, and a lot of development into the Air 2.0. And it's right up there with some of the best hydration vests that I've ever used. So lots of positives from the brilliant soft flasks to that nice ergonomic design, lightweight construction, and lots and lots of storage options. There is a few things that I think could be slightly improved. Uh, the first one being that it's only available in a small, a medium, and a large. And you know, I just in today's world, I just don't think that's good enough. If you're an extra small or you've got broad shoulders and you need an extra large, then you're not gonna be able to use this running vest. And I think we definitely need to see some bigger size runs in the future. The only other slight issue comes down to the laces on that closure system. That The first few times I used the vest, I uh, took it off, washed it, and then packed it away in the drawer. When I took it out, those laces were in a bit of a tangle. And you know, it's not the end of the world. It only took me a, a couple of seconds to untangle them. And I've actually come up with a system now. So what I do is I finish using the pack, I wash it, and then I clip the attachments back in like I'm wearing it, and it just stops those laces from getting tangled. So wrapping up the review, and if you're in the market for uh, your first ever hydration vest, or you just fancy an upgrade to something that's maybe a bit lighter and a bit more breathable, then I definitely recommend checking out the Fuga Air 2.0. Uh, it really is a, a well-constructed, well-thought-through, functional piece of running kit. But if you feel you need less volume or more volume in your running vest, then Callus have got an extensive range of uh, running packs and running vests on their website. But don't be fooled the fact that this is eight liters because it really does have a lot of storage capabilities. We're all done with today's video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Really hope you found it helpful. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really does help us out guys and it would be super appreciated. We've got lots of running pack and hydration vest content on the channel, uh, different brands, different models. So what I'll do is I'll link it all below in the description if you wanna go and binge watch that content. Uh, I'll also leave a link to the Kalas website down there as well if you wanna check out what those guys are up to. But until next time, keep fit, keep healthy, train hard guys. We'll be back here very, very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running breathable honeycomb fabric used in the majority of the construction and I can't remember what I'm saying. We've got this highly breathable honeycomb fabric used in the majority of the construction and that's there to sort of aid with air circulation. circulation. <laughs> Do the circulation. Do 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 do